Texas Radio Network. Now let's go quickly to Troy to find out the latest on, on your perspective, Troy, from here in the Weather Center. Well, I just want to point out that this is not over. These tornadoes are still very active, and you folks in Cook and Grayson counties are still in grave danger, as are folks in Eastland and Comanche counties. The, uh, the radar at present indicates that uh, there are still probably tornadoes active in southwest Cook County and southeast, both southwest and southeast of Gainesville, and also in the northwestern half of Grayson County moving up into Lake Texoma. If you are in those areas, continue to protect yourself against tornadoes. Also, the western end of that line in the western part of Comanche County around De Leon and over uh, near Comanche itself and on up towards Stephenville, tornado warnings are still active for you as well. So please continue to protect yourself. Uh, I just didn't want you to think we were doing an aftermath report. This is still an active situation. Tornado warnings still active in Cook, Grayson, Comanche and Erath counties, and I'll be back a little later on. Right. Okay, thank you very much, Troy. Yes, uh, developments continuing to come in even as we speak. Uh, first, we want to take a break, but uh, for those of you uh, trying to get home this afternoon, we want to take a look at the afternoon commute in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And for that, we have Todd Carruth in Metro Traffic. Uh, Todd? An afternoon rush hour is uh, surprisingly smooth in the immediate Dallas-Fort Worth area. However, one accident, northbound 75 Central Expressway, just past Royal. It's off to the right shoulder. That backup extends back to Mockingbird. Todd Carruth, News 8, Metro Traffic. In other news, for the first time ever, blacks... and apparently to his right, you can see a small spin-off there. We, I understand we have Channel 8's John Pronk in, in the helicopter. John, you want to tell us about this video that you shot? Can you see it? Well, John, maybe you can't hear us. Now, those folks are taking uh, uh, shelter there in the culvert as the uh, funnel cloud approaches. Let's bring Troy in right now with a microphone. Perhaps he can give us a better idea of, uh, of how this storm is moving. Well, it's moving from uh, west to east, more or mm -hmm. less, as they all have been across the uh, Cook and Grayson County areas. In fact, the tornadoes continue to be active in Cook and uh, Grayson counties and also in Comanche and Erath counties. So uh, I think we're probably going to uh, be taking a break here in just a moment, and then we'll come back, and uh, I'll bring you up to date on all the other weather developments. But tornadoes are still active in Cook and Grayson, Comanche and Erath County. Still a very volatile situation. Oh, very, very much so, yes. Okay, we understand there are there is widespread damage in the uh, greater Gainesville area. Here we have more videotape that uh, John shot as he was driving through uh, a major hailstorm. Uh, he said there were uh, uh, some accidents that he could see. A large transformer exploded, caught fire. Uh, we've talked to some people at the Gainesville City Hall who had taken refuge as apparently two waves of storms moved through the area, producing golf uh, ball sized hail. Uh, this is video we have not seen yet, uh, apparently on a back road now as John was moving along, trying to give us an idea of what the residents in Gainesville uh, were going through. Uh, uh, about one hour ago, something in that uh, neighborhood. Yeah, these are the pictures that Channel 8's John Pronk uh, got on the road through Cook County. And as you can see, they're unedited. This is a, a live feed, if you will, coming from our helicopter because John apparently just hooked up with them. And we are seeing these pictures for the first time. And, and Troy, there's, I guess... There's I... a cloud right there, I believe, on the left. Yes, a funnel cloud. Uh, directly uh, ahead of John as he's driving. That one looks very close to the ground. Troy, I guess this, this is not really a wise thing to do to be out driving around oh, weather no. like this. So what would you say if you're driving and you see a situation like well, this? Well, you get out of your car and get in a ditch or get in a protected area, certainly. If you don't try to outrun the tornado, for certain. That one, uh, that particular cloud that we could see, apparently moving again to the east. And it seemed to be picking up. We see a lot more rain suddenly, too. There, in fact, is the... Uh
funnel cloud again as it seems to go back up into the sky. Well, as we mentioned earlier, Troy says it's still a very volatile situation west and north of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Let's go back to Troy and the Weather Center for the latest, Troy. Well, okay, let's uh, just go ahead with what we plan to do here at this point. Uh, I, let me just ask you a question. Do we plan to do our regular weather segment here, guys, or are we just going to do? All right, then in that case, let's follow the rundown that you have up there. I need the tornado watch map. I want to show the, uh, the area which uh, is going to be affected this evening. Is that rundown still in the stack of papers somewhere up there? Uh, meanwhile, what we're seeing here is the thunderstorm activity in Cook and Grayson County. We've talked about that. We also see the thunderstorm activity around uh, Eastland and Comanche counties. Both of these areas have active tornadoes in them. And, uh, all right, I see we do have precision radar back up now. Let's have a look at, first of all, here's the tornado watch. The Dallas area, you see, is just in the eastern edge of this. Dallas-Fort Worth in the eastern edge of the watch area until 8 o'clock. This activity is moving more or less northeast. Now, I think probably what will happen is when this one expires at 8, there will be a new watch issued over here. In fact, now we have uh, thunderstorm warnings for Cook and Denton and Grayson County, so the activity is beginning to move into the edge of those counties. Now let's have a look at precision radar as we're checking something that's been quite important the last 30 minutes. Uh, just west of Comanche here, this is uh, potentially a tornado circulation. Also, just in the area of Dublin, just southwest of Stephenville, both of those are likely active tornadoes and moving toward the northeast. This part of the system is moving toward Dallas-Fort Worth, so we will continue to watch all of these, but uh, this does indicate that later in the evening we could have some problems in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Let's take a quick look at the rest of the weather activity this afternoon. Here's what's been going on. This dry line is the key, and it didn't move much. It stayed pretty much where it was last night. Here's the way things looked during the day today. 